Now, if you want to start making more money with your service business, this is a video for you. In this video, we are going to show you lots of ways you can upcharge at jobs to make you more money. Now, my favorite upcharge is when someone needs some ASAP. It's an emergency and it's after hours. And that's a perfect opportunity for you to charge more money. Now, remember, every job you show up to is an opportunity for you to upcharge. Look around and see what you could charge extra for. Do they have an old hot tub or a shed that's falling down? Those are the jobs that we are doing today and that's the perfect opportunity to upcharge. Welcome to the channel. On this channel, we dive deep into the world of trash from junk finds to hoarder houses. And we're your hosts. I'm Matt. I'm Julio. I'm Jojo, and we're your favorite trash talkers and business motivators. On this channel, we're all about turning trash into cash. Every day in the junk world, it's like a minor day treasure hunt. So if you want to get inspired, motivated, learn how to make some extra cash, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. Now let's get this money. So who do you think is going to win? We have Matt cutting up the shed, and we have Julio cutting up the hot tub. Leave it in the comments down below. Now how we got this job, I stopped by here last week and did a small pickup. I seen the shed, I seen the hot tub, and I let the customer know we knock sheds down and we also haul away hot tubs. And a week later, guess what? We're here getting paid. Now guess who won? The Julio! And he only had to do one cut. And always remember, if you step in dog shit, make sure you upcharge. Now here's another time we upcharge whenever we have to pull a tool out. When the saw's all taking too long, it's time to pull out the chainsaw. And this is from Badger. We're actually sponsored by Badger. They send us free stuff all the time. And I would say for a free item, it works pretty good. We have a long walk and we have to fetch the stuff from far away. Guess what we do? We upcharge. Now let us know when do you upcharge? Leave it in the comments down below. What's wrong with you? When you sweat so much, the sweat goes in your eyes and it burns so bad. Has that ever happened to you? Never. <laughs> Ain't no Gina over here. And whenever you bust your lip, make sure you upcharge. Check that out. It's a blueberry. <laughs> but still, you can upcharge. Why are you laughing over here? That was a good one. The, the, the blueberry on your lip. That was a good one. Check out the most sexiest junk hauler in the world. Now, an hour and 45 minutes later, we made this much money, plus a $50 tip, and she left us a five-star review. You can't beat that. Now, other times you can upcharge is if you have to go upstairs or down into a basement or up in an attic. Now, you're probably wondering, Matt, how much should I upcharge for stairs? That's totally up to you. For us, we're charging anywhere from $50 to $100 per flight of stairs. Now, another time you want to upcharge is when the job is nasty, filthy. The dirtier the job, the more money I charge. And you can't forget hoarder houses. Hoarder houses often take very long to clean out. There is stuff everywhere. Every single drawer, every single cupboard, every single closet has a ton of stuff and it's going to take you extra time now whenever you gotta buy contractor bags and you're bagging stuff up or pulling stuff out the cabinets and it's taking forever guess what that's when you want to upcharge so we are at our next job of the day and this is for a repeat customer <laughs> what we got we got paid to take a pressure washer that works and we're gonna resell 
Now, another time you want to upcharge and charge more money is when it's labor intense work. And also, if you pull up to a pile and you know the stuff's going to be hella heavy, like there's buckets of tile, that stuff called Trex wood is super heavy, or maybe some big logs, upcharge and charge more money because guess what? Your dump fee is going to be a whole lot more. Another time you want to upcharge is when it is hazardous. So sometimes there's bed bugs and you need a hazmat suit and sometimes there are needles and you need special gloves for that. So if it's hazardous conditions, make sure you upcharge. So we are at the next job of the day and this person had 1-800-GOT-JUNK scheduled, but he canceled with them and went with us. Now, whenever you got a steep ass driveway, you might want to upcharge. Upcharge. Now let's take a look at the job. The bed goes, the bed frame goes, everything on the couch needs to go, and we got more stuff over there in the corner. What do you think's in here? I threw it down and something turned on. Is it A, a dildo? B, I don't know, or C? Leave it in the comments down below. Photographer, you need a camera? Hell yeah, for my fish. <laughs> you tired or what? I'm not gonna lie to you guys. This is how out of shape I am. These stairs are killing me right now. Back and forth on these ones, and then the other steps inside. I'm not going to the gym later. <laughs> are you? I went at 5.30 this morning at the house. Are you gonna walk later? No, hell no. <laughs> Just so you know, we keep it real with the subscribers out there. Our dumb asses could have went through the window right there and brought a bunch of stuff out. But the Julio wasn't thinking. I wasn't. I didn't see that window right there. You see how you always blame your employees? That's how you do it. That's how a real boss does it. So job is complete and check out what the JoJo found. We're in South Africa today. Check this out. All kinds of made out of real wood. African art and I have about three of these and two of these and check this out This one is super cool. Can you see that there's like a person hanging on the side and It smells really good. They must have done like incense or something in here. So this is a really cool find Now whenever I go down Shanene, it's a road out here in Santa Rosa I turn it into an aspiring rapper and the Jojo is always like, what the hell, man? What are you doing? You're too old for that. I'm going down shit night and night on a one way, passing up safe way, trying to get paid, picking up some trash, smashing on the gas. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, Jojo, don't be hating on me. What do you guys think? Leave a comment down below. Was that fire? Was that lit? Or did that suck? Leave a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Let me know. It's lit, man. It's lit. Now, another time you want to upcharge is when you give a customer a price and they start pulling more stuff out. Maybe one item's okay, but if they're going to the back of the house in the backyard and they're grabbing some lawn chairs and stuff in the garage and they keep pulling shit out, guess what? Mr. Matt Vic ain't letting that shit slide. I'm going to upcharge and get my money. And just like that, we made that much money on a Saturday. Now, another time you want to upcharge is whenever something costs you money. Like for us, mattresses cost us money. Anything with Freon costs us money. Car tires cost us money. So guess what? We charge it to the customer and upcharge a little bit too. You also want to make sure you ask the customer before you leave, is there anything else you want gone? Because that's the perfect opportunity to be able to charge more money. So if you like this video, make sure you smash that like button. If you're going to make it to the Junk Expo, leave a comment down below. We are almost sold out and we can't wait for October 25th. It's going down in Rona Park, California, Jojo. We're so excited. We can't wait. We hope to see you there. So we'll catch you on the next one. And remember, me and the Jojo and the Julio, we love all you guys. <laughs>